So we've been playing on the new edition of GT Online for a couple of days now. And one of the cooler things, I mean, it's it's a minor thing, but one of the nicer little quality of life things Rockstar added was when you go to the find new session thing, you can actually choose between all of the different modes. But the problem is there's still no public solo mode. And well, as you can see, if we go back here, these public lobbies that you get into are very full especially early on now a lot of new people are playing a lot of older people are coming back to play i'm pretty sure every single time i've gone to a like find a new session is usually 28 29 30 people max in the lobby and the problem is when you're going to sell your mission stuff and, and everything a lot of those people might try and come kill you which is why we try to get a solo public lobby but on the ps5 apparently it's slightly different so in today's video i'm gonna show you guys well how to get it so let's get started what we're gonna do first is go to the playstation settings now in the settings where we're gonna go is the network tab then we're gonna go to settings in the network tab this is where we go to the setup internet connection now from here, whether you have a wired connection or a, a like a, you know, Wi-Fi, just scroll down to the bottom and do set up manually. Then just choose whatever you have. Like I said, I have a cable, so I'll go there. And the setting in this screen that we're going to change, you probably already know this if you've done this on the PS4, but on the PS5, it's still the MTU settings. Now, right now it's set to automatic, but we're going to change that to make the solo public lobby an actual thing. So click on it, go to manual default. It's stuck at 1500. I believe on the PS4, if you change this to 800, it ended up making a solo public lobby. But apparently on the PS5, 800 doesn't work all the time. The new number 750. So we're going to put in 750. We're going to hit done and then let it do its thing. And now that we're on this new 750, we're just gonna simply go back, go back into GTA Online. It'll hit you with this, but that's fine. All right, it brings us back to the main menu. We're just gonna hit join free mode and we'll let this thing load. And when we get back in, we should be in a solo public lobby. And then finally, after loading what seems like forever, you should be in a solo public lobby. Look at that, top left, we are now all by ourselves. Now this doesn't, I think the way this works on, on PlayStation 5, or and just PlayStation 4, I guess, as well. When you do this and you get into a solo public lobby, I do believe other people that have also changed their MTU settings to like that certain number can, can maybe change literally right before this it actually did put me into a lobby but it put me into a lobby with another player i mean granted there was still only two of us there uh, but it wasn't a true public solo lobby or a, a true solo public lobby so i i guess maybe other people can join which might be a good thing like if you have some buddies you want to that want to help you do some of the the cell missions then they can easily get in and maybe after i think after maybe 30 minutes an hour or so you might end up getting like 10 people in your lobby which if that does happen then simply just find a new session right like we talked about just go to the online go to find new session and boom the uh like i said the only issue with this is the loading screens will take quite a long time to actually like go through it may feel like it's not gonna work but uh yeah it should end up working and you should end up getting into a solo public lobby as easy as that on the PS5. Now, if you're on Xbox Series X, so I, I think the only way to filter. get a solo public lobby totally is to actually story, like use right a third party here. app. I think I've made a video on that in the past. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. That same process should still work on the Series X. But this is the PlayStation 5. It's pretty simple. Also, one final thing going back to the settings. So, when you are here at the MTU, uh, you know, number thing, if 750 doesn't work, this is where you can maybe play around with the numbers. You do want it to be a lower number. You don't want it to be too low, I don't think. But I mean, 800 was the standard. A lot of people though on this newer console were having trouble with 800, but maybe if 750 doesn't work for you, try 800. If that doesn't work, I don't know, maybe try like 850. You could try 900. That's probably the highest maybe I would go. 
and then actually if you're completely done selling all your stuff you want to go back to normal just you can either i guess change it back to automatic here or you can just simply put it back to 1500 which is the original number as you see so yeah simple as that now we can go about selling all of our stuff in a public lobby without having to worry about griefers because it for whatever reason seems like there's a lot more griefers on the uh on the newer consoles don't know if that's the newer people or the, the people that have not played much and they're just coming back for the first time to see what's new or what but it does seem like there's a lot there's a lot more mark ii people flying around i've been noticing but yeah hopefully this video helps you guys out thank you guys for watching please drop it a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one